We want to establish a recovery community on campus. We want to continue to dispel the myths that are surrounding addiction. And to do that, we have to start with the individuals who are closest to us. We're trying to cultivate a new narrative on campus uh, that focuses on uh, building up and supporting students where they're at, uh, meeting students where they're at, making sure that they're aware that they are, um, that they're loved on campus and that they have a place. Their life is their journey and I want them to know that they can have a place to feel safe and still be able to share their journey and their recovery with someone and not feel judgment. The conversations that began all of this really came from the staff and faculty of Lipscomb. They saw the need for recovery on campus. Knowing that I was a part of the recovery movement and as well as the faith-based community coordinator, they reached out to me to see what we could do to establish a recovery friendly environment. And then he linked me with Nathan Payne and we started to talk about ways in which Lipscomb can partner with the recovery initiative. And so in doing so we've started a recovery program here. It's an all recovery meeting on Tuesday nights from 6 to 7 for any student who wants to be involved. We hope to be able to start a program also for staff and faculty um, in the future and we're really becoming active on campus and creating the recovery environment for individuals who need help and support. We're starting at the, the ground level of just having a recovery meeting on campus and letting the students know that we're here. We're working our way up to the faculty and getting the faculty to buy in. And then from there, just it's going to individuals and just sort of explaining the need and what our goal and what our vision is. Our overarching goal is to have every faculty and staff trained as a recovery ally. The initiative is really like a catalyst on campuses because the campuses are ready. There's people on campuses that are ready to support students. They're just, um, you know, a lot of people aren't sure how or, or how to go about that or what that would look like. While there hasn't been something like this prior, I don't think it's because there's not a need or a want or a desire for it. It's just because no one's been there to say, hey, we do want this and we're willing to help. The way that I see it is campuses and congregations alike understand the problem is there. They want to do something about it, but very few know how. And there's where we get into problems because we don't know how to begin that conversation. We don't know how to initiate that. And we don't know how to create the safe place for somebody to reach out for help. That's why it's so important to have events and things like this on a faith-based campus, on a Christian campus, to allow individuals to understand that recovery is real. The entire goal of the Tennessee Collegiate Recovery Initiative is the, that no student um, should have to feel alone who's struggling with mental illness or substance abuse. The Recovery Ally training has been the big pusher behind the initiative. All across the state we have campuses signing up, uh, faculty, staff, students to become recovery allies and creating that new narrative on campus. Growing up in the faith community I understand how difficult it is to have conversations around addiction and around mental health. I also understand in a lot of families we, this is something we don't talk about and so we come onto a campus that is faith based and we don't really feel safe. What we're trying to do here is create the safe environment for us to have that discussion so individuals can reach out for help, reach out for support. Making sure that we're intentional about acknowledging the fact that there is stigma still surrounding not only addiction, mental health in general. And so ways to dispel those myths are to begin having those candid conversations. Lipscomb University has become a beacon of hope. It has really started something in faith-based campuses for the recovery movement. Lipscomb is really shining a light on the problem that has always been there. Now it's just time to do something about it.